Hello Power Rangers fans and welcome back to Rangers of the Universe. I'm Chris and in this video I will be doing another Cosmic Fury review with Episode 5 Rock Out. So I really enjoyed this episode of Cosmic Fury. It was definitely something different. We started off with seeing um, Jay Borg and Jane doing a live BuzzFeed. Well, doing a BuzzFeed transmission talking about how past Lord Zed has set up prisons all over Earth in different cities. And we learn that past Rangers have been made prisoners in Lord Zed's prisons because they're unable to use their Megazords due to an anti-Zord force field. So Megazords are rendered useless on Earth and Rangers have fought back against Zed and most if not all on Earth have been captured by him. So that's the biggest thing we learn with this. And then we see something about, um, and then we hear Javi's playing a metal music to get his head leveled and everything like that. He's rocking out on some pots and pans with some drumsticks to a song he wrote called I Hate the Emperor of Evil, Lord Zed, which it's definitely a very catchy tune. I definitely liked the uh, look of it, what it went along with. And through that, we also learn that Bajilia has found the lost Cosmic Fury Dragon Zord. So, this is the 11th Zord in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. It's technically the 10th Zord in Q-Ranger because what we call the Grizzly Zord, the Kojiki Sky Blue, that was the 11th Ranger of Q-Ranger. So, the Dragon Zord is the final Cosmic Fury Zord that we have joined in line. We are not, we didn't get Ho O Soldier Zord, the Gigant Ho O, but we do have the Dragon Zord that was seen on the pillar in the temple at the Temple of Zordia. It was one of the logos and inscriptions that you saw on it. Billy points that out. So Bajilia has found the Dragon Zord. There's a transmission showing that on a Squid Ink Ink news report so we learn that info and then they come up with a plan to uh, we see the rangers come up with a plan on their on the base on the ship trying to figure out a way to get hold of the dragon sword now billy is helping um solon with something so he can't be of use so once again for another episode in a row we see that izzy's only really plot line is being super overprotective on Fern because they need a fifth spot in the band of five. So Ollie won't get um Ollie won't get suspicious of it. So Zato can sneak off as the Cosmic Fury Z Zenith Ranger and take over the Dragon Zord. So we do see that Fern does convince Izzy to let her do this. You know, so there's that part. And then we see them all dressed in disguise they adapt they take on the band name meat chrome that's what javi calls them and we do see something very cool very interesting i saw that i really enjoyed was we see that the rangers have wanted posters but we also see wanted posters of a couple monsters as well don't know what that's about we don't learn that at all through the series about those monsters with wanted posters but our rangers do have them so I definitely really enjoyed this episode a lot. I thought it was very cool and fun. You know, the monsters were all rocking out to meet Chrome, our ranger band, singing instead of it being I hate the Emperor of Evil, it's I love the Emperor of Evil. They change it up and they definitely keep the the show working until one of the monsters tells Ollie that it was so nice of Bajillia to throw them a free concert. And obviously Bajillia is evil. She ain't, she's not going to throw them a free concert. We see like Ollie go back with the Rangers and he takes off Fizzy's mask. And we see the Rangers, instead of rocking out, they morph into the Cosmic Fury team. And we see them take on Ollie, all the monsters, the Zentinels, while Zato sneaks in to the Dragon Zord and ties Scrozzle up in ropes. So, you know, it was definitely a cool thing with a lot of action. Something I really liked. A big thing I liked that was part of it was we see Izzy versus Ollie scenes. And, oh, there definitely looks to be, like, there was some animosity there where uh, Ollie's, we see, too, that Ollie has the Tricera Blaster. So, 
Unlike our rangers where their personal weapons were came with their cosmic fury suits and when they morph they automatically come. Before this episode aired, you know, when we first saw the cosmic fury suits, when we saw Ollie's during what was it, last year at the 1027 Hasbro event, we got a look at the Cosmic Fury blue suit. You know, we saw him with the Tricera Blaster. So it's definitely something I found interesting where his Tricera Blaster doesn't come with his Cosmic Fury suit. It was made by Scrozzel and comes with his Dark Dino Fury blue suit. So that was something I found extremely interesting when first watching this episode, obviously back when it came out in September. So this was a big interesting part that I found pretty cool of it where I definitely didn't expect to see that coming where I thought we wouldn't see his Tricera Blaster until later when we eventually see him in his Cosmic Fury blue suit. So I found that definitely very cool. And we see him shoot at Izzy and miss a whole lot where Izzy fires at him and they have a little uh, banter back and forth where she like asked if he was jealous or anything like that wishes he could shoot that good so it was definitely interesting to see where she was kind of ragging on evil ollie and you know i found that personally pretty funny so i thought their scene was good with that where like it showed that you know they've moved on from the part like okay they've tried again and again to save ollie and just each time it hasn't worked and ollie's shown he's against them he's trying to destroy them so, you know, this, I feel like this part of it scene where is where, like, the Rangers have settled with, okay, right now there's no saving Ollie. They need to focus on the present. And honestly, at this point, I think the only one that's really still thinking of saving Ollie is Amelia because Izzy has no problem taking him head on and fighting him. So we see eventually Ollie retreat. He goes to, uh, he figures out that Fern, especially because he was trying to shoot at Fern thinking it was Zato. So that's definitely what So that's definitely what triggered Izzy to use her like full strength against Ollie to try and hold him back, try and take him down. So that's I think was a part of the catalyst of it with two where she was treating Ollie like a full fledged villain and not like a former friend under mind control. And then obviously when Ollie figures out it was Fern, he goes, he figures out that obviously Zato's trying to get the Dragon Zord and this is all the distraction. So we see that. But too late, Zato has taken over the Dragon Zord and we see Zato as the Zenith Ranger be the first to pilot the Dragon Zord and, he, and he's taken on the uh what is it? The was it the Squidrel or Copy Guard, whichever. So he's taken that on. And we also see obviously our Rangers form the Cosmic Fury Megazord they use for this combination. Of course, the lion, but they also use shark, eagle, chameleo, and scorpio. And Fern is in the chameleo zord with Izzy, and she accidentally hits a bunch of button and remote summons the wolf zord. So we also see the wolf zord, but we have the uh, the dragon zord does its final attack with the cosmic fury megazord destroys the villain. Then we see the rangers back on the base, and they get a transmission from Tarek. And the Rafconian. So Tarek is leading the resistance of Rafconians against Lord Zed and his forces who have invaded who have invaded the Earth. They let is Tarek lets Izzy and Javi know that their parents have been cat are among the people who have been captured by Lord Zed's invading forces. And he tells them about the anti Zord force field, that no Zords can use it, and says that he hopes they're safe and return when they're ready. And then we also see, again too, we see Lord Zed and his forces. Ali talking back to Bajilia about, you know, the Dragon Zord being taken. But then Ali lets them know that he put a tracker in the Dragon Zord and has tracked them all the way to the planet Eridus. And he introduces a monster by the name of Jezotic who is familiar with Eridus and is faced off against the, the Scuttleworms that are on the planet. So we're introduced to a new monster, Jezotic, which is a monster that is from Juhojer. He's a major villain in Juhojer. So once again, we get introduced to a new monster, you know, seeing Ali interact with Bajilia, Lord Zed, everything like that. And we learn now the Ranger's location is finally known by the villains, which 
goes into episode 6 where we finally will see the end of Arid end of our time on Eridus. But that is all for this video review of this episode. You know, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. We saw the debut of the Dragon Zord. I personally absolutely love the Ryu Taiyo. I love the Dragon Zord. So I am extremely happy to see that that Zord was introduced into this season. And Zord footage of it was used. Even though it was only introduced halfway through the season. So it's only used for the other half. I was extremely glad to see the Dragon Zord be used. I really enjoyed this episode. I think it was pretty fun and enjoyable. You know, the custom song that Javi made of I Hate the Emperor of Evil. And then I Love the Emperor of, e Emperor of Evil. So they could do uh, Meet Chrome, which I found that name pretty funny. Overall, I think this was a really cool episode to it. You know, I've really... Cosmic Fury, I really enjoyed as a whole as a season. And... Watching each episode, I've watched, I've watched the season a few times over by now. It's been a, it's been a little over a couple months since the season came out. You know, had more and more time to enjoy it, absorb it, think of my points on it, and overall, definitely a great, enjoyable season. Really enjoyed this episode, where you know, especially one of the most shocking moments that I enjoyed the most was just seeing the Tricera Blaster. How it didn't come with his Cosmic Fury suit. It was made by Scrozzle ahead of time. So it's not something that we got in the last couple episodes. It was something that we saw in episode 5. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Especially since we just saw the evil Dino Fury blue suit. Last episode in episode 4. So. And yeah. So overall I thought this was a really good episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Definitely let me know what you thought of Cosmic Theory as a whole in the comments below. And that's all for this video. So be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. Also be sure to follow the channel on Instagram. At Rangers underscore of the underscore universe. For all channel news and updates. And just general Power Ranger Tokusatsu posts that I do on the Instagram page. That's all for this video, so stay tuned for all future Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and Tokuzatsu content.